As of January 2nd, 2022, there are 48 volcanoes which are actively erupting. These include volcanoes such as Bagana and Papua New Guinea, which is a very rare type of volcano called a lava cone, where layers of viscous lava piles on top of each other in the shape of a cone. It also includes the towering Popocatepetl volcano southeast of Mexico City in Mexico, which has been continuously erupting since January 9th of 2005. With this being said, here are a few of this week's major volcano-related news stories. In Indonesia, the dangerous decade volcano known as Merapi is at risk of another major explosive eruption as its primary lava dome has become oversteepened to one side. Meanwhile, in Vanuatu, a new volcanic eruption began at the Ambe Shield Volcano which is producing spectacular Sir Saiyan-style explosions. Also, in New Zealand, the Ruhupehu Volcano is showing signs of activity at its crater lake which is rapidly heating. On the North Island of New Zealand, the most active of the nation's several volcanoes is the towering Ruhupehu, which has erupted 42 times since 1950. It is 2,797 meters or 9,177 feet tall and produced the nation's deadliest volcanic disaster when a large lahar was released from its crater lake in 1953, causing the collapse of a railway bridge. Since then, many of its volcanic eruptions have begun at its crater lake, such as this phreatic eruption in 2007. As a result, the temperature of its crater lake is thoroughly monitored, with one of the most important measurements being its temperature. If a higher temperature is detected, it indicates increased volcanic activity and an increased likelihood of an eruption, potentially due to a shallow intrusion of magma. Well, its crater lake has been continuously heating since December of 2021. Although some earthquakes have occurred alongside this activity, I would not be too worried. The change in temperature is not yet sufficient to indicate the likelihood of a new eruption. Also, these heating and cooling phases are quite common at this lake, and this latest example is not very noteworthy. Thus, Ruhupehu's alert level remains at 1 on the 0 to 5 scale. In Indonesia, the Merapi stratovolcano has been continuously erupting since December 31st of 2020. During this time span, eruptive activity has slowly built several lava domes which occasionally partially collapse and release pyroclastic flows in what is termed a Palayan-style eruption. At the present, there is a fear that another large eruption of Merapi will occur rather soon, as its southwest-facing lava dome has become oversteepened and is showing signs of structural instability. Eventually, this dome will collapse, releasing a large pyroclastic flow in a manner similar to December's deadly eruption of Semeru. Although there was recently declared a 5km exclusion zone around its summit, I recommend temporarily expanding this to 10km in a southward facing orientation. In Vanuatu, the Ambe Shield volcano produced a new eruption, releasing ash from its central vent and slowly expanding an existing tuff cone. This volcano has a highly unusual geologic setting, which is how it can produce highly explosive eruptions despite being merely a shield volcano. At its summit, the outline of two young calderas can be seen. Within the youngest and smaller of the two calderas is a mar-filled crater lake. Within this lake is a 600 meter wide tuff cone that formed from eruptions in the last 300 years. At the interior of this tuff cone is a highly acidic crater lake, and this is where the new eruption is occurring. So far, this eruption has been quite small, only creating small pyroclastic flows and ejecting bombs of lava which are confined to the crater lake. Although this eruption could suddenly become more explosive, there are no immediate warning signs which suggest a sudden change in activity. On a final note, it truly appears that a new eruption from the Krishavik volcanic system in Iceland is imminent. Magma is slowly traveling upwards towards the surface and is only at 1600 meters in depth. Although it is uncertain where the new eruption will occur, it will likely begin adjacent to Geldinga Dollar. Here's a quick list of every volcano which is currently erupting. Additionally, here are some volcanoes at raised alert statuses which are not erupting but could erupt in the near future. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patrons Jeff, Tony Atchinson, Katar Saleh, and Jamie Wold for supporting this channel.